All right, welcome to the first video of the uh, North Africa Vamos uh, Commands project. And the, uh, this video will talk about the, uh, uh, the scheme of the colors of the uh, figures we're going to paint and uh, show you guys an example later on in the scale 75. They actually have a painting uh, four color set for uh, dedicated for the North Africa uh, Corp uniforms. So did a go uh, basic, uh, basic Google search for the uh, African Corp uniforms. So here, as you can see, there's come from uh, many different sources. And also, you probably notice many different colors. So uh, based on the research, North Africa uniforms, which I think the German uh, army issued was M40, uh, is the standard issue specific for the North African Corp. Uh, they are ranging from uh, olive green from this picture and uh, all the way to khaki yellow and uh, sometimes are dark brown color. And the reason for that is a different manufacturer and different material uh, from the beginning of the war and all the way down to 1942, 43. Uh, the color changed a little bit. And also, uh, I saw a video on YouTube, which is actually why one of the uh, collector, uh, uniform collector, uh, talking about the uh, collection he took. Uh, from the uh, African Corp, there are probably about 20 different variations because the different manufacturer, different material, and also he also talking about the uh, the environment, the harsh environment in the desert and the sun that actually changed the color on, on those coals, so make a make a huge di uh, difference in the colors uh, they presented in the pictures and stuff like that. So. Another uh, fact I uh, found out from uh, my research, Google research. So uh, after the Battle of uh, Tobruk, well, after the uh, German army captured Tobruk, uh, there's about, uh, just, I forgot the number, there's tons of supplies, uh, basically uh, food, uh, water, but uh, most importantly, there's a lot of, lot of equipment and clothing that uh, Romo captured and actually uh, a lot of those uh, codes being reissued to the German armies and uh, they took out the uh, insignia and stuff like that from the British armies and uh, they started using that so as part of the uh, uh, African Corps you see there on, on, their, on their uniforms some of them are look similar uh, to the British ones especially the socks the shirts and some of the, some of the boots are, are, are similar. So those are kind of a funny information I find out. Uh, like I said, I'm no historian, so all this information, I just did a kind of a very basic uh, research on, on the internet. So like you know, people say you can't really trust the information 100% on the internet, but this is what I, information I can get in a kind of a short term of uh, a period of time. So I'm gonna use that to, uh, uh, to start on the, use that information to start on the project. So uh, after the uh, research, find all those informations, uh, looking for the uh, colors, color scheme for the uh, uniforms, uh, looking, did some uh, research again for the colors. And there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that uh, talking about using uh, different colors, uh, Vallejo color combination. And uh, they're actually a specific uh, set of uh, colors that company uh, Scale 75 designed for just for the North uh, Africa uh, German uniforms. Uh, there are actually two sets. So there's a set number one for uniforms, North Africa, and uh, there's a set number two. So each of those set have uh, four colors in there. So for set number one, uh, actually the, uh, the color combination I give it to you is actually for the uh, pants and the cap, not actually for the jacket. And the set number two is actually for the uh, uniform jacket and pants uh, for this guy. So it's darker, uh, look at almost like a dark uh, uh, green with a brown kind of a finish. So make sure you purchase the correct one. So number one is just for the khaki kind of color, pants and cap. Number two is actually for the uh, uniform dark brown color. Uh, so the four guys you see in the background here is actually the uh, set number two. I did a testing on it. Uh, it's kind of a step-by-step -step, uh, for, uh, for the paint. 
It's uh, the reason I bought the uh, set, not the individual uh, number of the paint. You can actually just buy the paint on their website. Uh, is they actually have a uh, two uh, uh, stickers in there uh, that actually give you a step uh, instructions side by side kind of thing uh, for uh, how to uh, use the paint and how to paint it. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to show that. I think this is probably the uh, uh, selling point for the product, so I don't know I'm allowed. But uh, I'll give you a description and what did I do and how to do it. Uh, just in here using this four guys as example. So the number one, the, the first guy here is uh, just the base color. And the base color that it says is the uh, SW35 uh, olive browns actually come in a dark yellow kind of color. And so base coated and I uh, use my uh, I use my airbrush, which it also says in the instructions. So use your airbrush to uh, base coated, so even coat, two coats on that, on the model, so. And number two, step number two is actually a highlight. So mixing the base color with a lighter color called the uh, Sahara Sand. It's actually a yellow tones of color and give you a, give you a, give a highlight on the model. So that's base coat number one and the highlight number two. So that's after the two coat of the highlight, both jacket and pants. Step number three uh, is actually mixing the colors, a little uh, darker color called the Pale, Pale Earth SW34 is the number. Uh, Set to create the first layer of the shade, the first shade. So that make a, the model uh, actually turn a little bit brown color, uh, to kind of tone down the green a little bit. So make a, make a brown color. I don't know if it's intend to make the uniform look brown or actually just a dust and uh, uh, wear and tear the dirtiness of the, of the uniform, but it turned to a brown. So this is Romo. So the jacket turned to a little brown color after step three with the first shade. And then the, uh, step number four is, oh, he's a little bit, he's, he's a tank commander, so he's a little bit uh, bent over a little bit. So I'll do this to make it show better. Uh, step number four is to create a darker, deeper shade, a second round of shade with a mixing of uh, uh, the pillars and the olive brown with the base color uh, plus a black. So, and after that, they, rec they probably well, I don't think they say the instruction, but I think they were recommending a little bit of blending on it. So this is the force after four steps, what it looks like. And number one on the base color is used by uh, a airbrush. And uh, number two, three, and four, I just use a regular, uh, uh, regular paintbrush, and uh, did that mostly done by two layers. And uh, the final step, I did a little bit of blending to uh, make a better transition with the base colors. And so it look, look a little bit different in the picture. They said, you know, look at this guy. The color is actually more brown than whatever. The, fin the finished uh, product here if you follow the instructions. And if actually, if you look at the instruction uh, the paper, the last picture, it said it looked like this. It's actually look more green than brown. So that's the uh, North Africa African Corp uniform set number two. So this is a one, two, three, four step. I haven't done this uh, uniform one set yet because it's kind of a I have exactly the same, uh, same guy here. So I will try on um, his pants and the cap. We'll do, uh, I'll probably do another video for the step-by-step -step kind of testing. So I, I, I like it, the, uh, the, the, the package here, especially the, the, the whole purpose of buying those are, uh, for me, is mostly for the instructions. I like to see how exactly they were supposed to be used and what kind of uh, steps it should be taking. 
I, I have another one called the uh, Into the Navy. Uh, I bought another four, kind of, not four, a set of five uh, kind of uh, uh, U-boat crew. Uh, I, paint, I paint that already. I just probably does uh, for another project. Uh, I'll show you guys later in the, in the pictures. But yeah, so one, two, three, four. I'll post uh, kind of uh, pictures, uh, still pictures of those four at the end of the video. So you guys can do a better comparison. Uh, I don't know how good a quality the video would be. But picture probably shows better, right? Thank you guys. Bye.